Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The BBC Tonight showed Tory MP Steve Baker he has less than 1% chance of retaining his seat, before awkwardly panning the camera back to him. Rita Chakrabarty brutally revealed to the Wickham MP live on air as he sat in the studio that he was likely to be unseated, just moments after an explosive exit poll predicted a crushing conservative defeat. Miss Chakrabarty awkwardly apologized to Mr. Baker as his face was projected onto a giant screen alongside the minuscule chance of his probability of winning. Steve, I'm sorry to be putting you up on the screen like this, but we are giving you a less than 1% chance of hanging on to your seat there in Wickham, she said. The camera then panned to Mr. Baker as a pained expression formed across his face as he nervously chuckled. Laura Quensberg delivered another low blow as she said they would be talking to him about our projections that I'm afraid to say for you show you losing your seat. Asked if he thought he had lost, he clung on to the faint hope that the prediction was wrong. Well I came into this campaign knowing I was widely expected to lose, but I do think the dynamic in Wickham is slightly different to what is generally expected in the polls and I know how the constituency works. So I think my chances are quite a bit better, but I could have easily lost very heavily. But he went on to already to concede the election 15 minutes after the exit poll was released and showing a massive labor landslide with 410 MPs and a majority of 170, just short of the 179 achieved by Tony Blair. I'm very conscious that if 241 conservative MPs lose their seat it'll be a very very painful time for them, for their staff, for the Conservative Party, and obviously all of us are very worried about the future of the country, he added. The Tories are expected to be slashed from the 365 secured less than five years ago to just 131, their worst performance in modern political history. Meanwhile, the Lib Dems could get 61 and Nigel Farage's reform insurgents are predicted to have 13 after effectively leeching millions of votes from the Conservatives. That could include Mr. Farage himself taking Clacton, while conservative sources in Great Yarmouth confirmed they expected reform to triumph there. The SNP would be slashed to 10, meaning they would no longer be the biggest party in Scotland. Although the exit survey, run for broadcasters by polling guru Sir John Curtis, is not guaranteed to be exact, it has accurately reflected the outcome in the past few elections. Sir Keir gave a muted reaction to the bombshell, posting on social media. To everyone who has campaigned for Labour in this election, to everyone who voted for us and put their trust in our changed Labour Party, thank you.